look at. They're so dapper. Look at the dapperness in this corner. This corner is so full of dapperness. You're very dapper, you. These are very fun, guys. Look at her. She is dapper also. But not only her. Look at the dwarves. Look at these guys. He looks so dopey. Look at him. Welcome everybody to a vlog where my stabilizing thing is totally messed up because the battery died. So I'm kind of walking around holding it, not by the handle, but more by the gimbal part of itself. So anyway, she was waving. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on one quick little ride before I go ahead and exit Epcot. It's been a pretty full day. I mean, I am at work, I should not probably be here, but I did come here to grab a bite to eat and at least ride one ride. And what ride should I ride? That's right, spaceship. When I first came in earlier today, there was a 15 minute wait. I'm not gonna wait 15 minutes to ride it. So if you wait until just before the fireworks start, the wait time goes down to five minutes. Five minute wait. I bet it's gonna be a direct walk on. That's the plan anyway. That's what that spaceman up there says, kicking the caveman in the head. Funness is about to begin. Finally, during the Renaissance, my phone will. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. 
Come on, Michelangelo. Focus. Focus. Wait a second. That kid used to be Amy and Arway. He's not Amy and Arway anymore. TV's not on. Look at that. The TV is on. That's something else that is very odd. They have Steve Jobs in there. Well, it's blurry. Stop on it. This is all totally 3D. Wish you guys could see it not blurry. Okay. On your computer screen, answer a few questions. Okay, I will. Then we'll show you a new world. Custom name just for you. Just for me. What are your most interests? Well, I like home. What is more important to you? I like the latest technology. Where would you like to live in the future? The country. Which chore do you enjoy least? I hate cleaning house. Which is the hardest decision? What clothes to buy? What to wear every day? What clothes to buy? I don't buy clothes. I like to start every morning by planning my day. How do you want to travel into the future? A car that drives itself or a hover train? I think I'm going to go for a car that drives itself. Where we go. Now along with your answers, let's add in some amazing new technology that we happen to know about. Finally. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, hey, it's your me. future. I don't know who the other person is. Here in the future, your home in the country will be a smart home that automatically. Oh, I look so happy. Want. Almost as soon as you do. Need something for a special occasion? Your closet comes equipped with a computerized personal shopper that helps you purchase a custom made outfit. Even wow, I look today. good. Now that's a smart look. Your smart home has everything organized. That must be my future lady. She has blue hair like Marge Simpson. The world will literally be at your fingertips. Because your home's information network lets you view your daily planner almost anywhere. And since you don't enjoy cleaning, robotic housekeepers will help you with your daily chores. The way it should be. Your smart home will know when it's time for you to leave and make sure you're dressed for success custom manufactured clothes. Of course, your smart home is already set for your automated car. I look so dapper. Where you want to go, while you relax and enjoy a beautiful view of the future. The end. Yay. Or should I say the beginning of your future. See a future me. How bad the iPhone does in low light. I wish my Android devices data or memory was not totally. That's what happens when you shoot way too much video and only have a 32 gig system. It just fills up with memory way too fast. But that's okay. You guys got the gist of it, right? Anyway, we're here. This place here, <laughs> when you get off the ride, used to have like a gigantic phone booth where you could call people all the, all the way around the world for free on video and stuff like that, but I believe that's long. It's been a long time since I've been in here. But there is a giant globe over there. Maybe you can still do the same thing. I don't know. Yeah. 
the phone booth is gone, but it does look like you can actually do something very similar. And look, our images from the ride are up there on the wall. This must be what the war room looks like. Though it's okay to come to theme parks as a solo traveler, sometimes it would just be funner to have somebody to do things with like that. Because if I was doing it by myself, I don't think I would enjoy it as much as having someone to get out there and shuffleboard around with. All right, everybody, I'm tired. I can't go this way. Sit here trying to find the exit. I am beat. Shot tons of video today. Probably about 60 gigabytes worth of video that I gotta go edit and get ready to post. If I can figure out how to do it, I think I'm gonna have to take most of my videos, put them in the cloud, delete all the video from my mobile devices, and then selectively back re-download them to my phone so I can put them in Adobe. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. It's gonna be time consuming. Anyway, sorry about the low light on this ride. It's a pretty amazing ride. One of my favorite things to do here at Epcot, but I used the wrong device to record it. So maybe next time, maybe next time I'll, have a, I'll use my uh, Samsung devices or something. But in the meantime, I'm gonna exit and not through a gift shop. There is no gift shop here. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Well, I'm exiting and heading back out to the truck to start editing some video. And I figured, why not show you guys what it costs to come to a Disney theme park? So, it's pretty devastating to the wallet. So, as we scan up to this handy dandy board, right there is the prices. That's what you would pay. You could freeze it right here and have a good look if you're planning on coming here this summer. Now I can give you some helpful hints so you're not paying those outrageous prices. So if you are coming down, send me a message. I might be able to help out a little bit. But if you have a family of four or a family of three or just two people, you're putting a hurt on that pocketbook. I'm not saying it's not worth it. It's definitely worth it. Though I prefer Universal Studios, I still have a soft spot in my heart for Disney. And I always will. Stay away from the water here at Walt Disney World. You have to. It says so. Because there's alligators and snakes in these waters.